JAG is Jobs for America's Graduates. We're a national program and our focus is on students, first of all, graduating high school and then successfully transitioning into life afterwards. I was failing all my classes. I didn't have a very good GPA. I didn't come to school like ever. Before, I didn't really get a lot of work done. I would just kind of, you know, go home and go do whatever, went and do my work. It's a very individualized class. They get what they need out of it. You know, we have small classes, so we are able to give that individualized approach. I tried dropping out my engineering year, to be honest, I'll jag, but um, she helped me a lot. A lot of the people, when I talk about JAG, I'm like, you need to be in it because Mrs. Bowman is probably the best teacher you'll ever have. Now I'm more focused on going home, getting my work done before I do anything else. I'm more confident when I come into school, I'm ready to do things. They put so much effort into it. I mean, you know, it's really the students will get out of the program what the students put into it. And the students that I've had put so much effort into JAG. I got the phone call and I was driving home and I was with my best friend and it was Grace College. She was like, I'd like to inform that you've been accepted. And I said, I said, really? And I started crying. Um, after high school, I'm gonna go to college to major in mathematics. They come and they tell me, you know, hey, I got accepted to wherever, you know, and of course we have to celebrate a little bit. You know, it, it's a hug, it's, and I'm proud of you. It's, I want a copy of that letter. <laughs> I want a copy of it. You know, so it's, it's so much fun to see their success and to share in their success. IGRAD is a program that started five years ago in Bartholomew County. It's a program that helps at-risk students to graduate from high school on time. IGRAD's a wonderful program. It does help the children who come in to receive services, help to keep them focused on their plan of graduation. They come in, we pull up grades, we see what their grades are, we try to find out what missing assignments are, get missing work, get them a tutor, get them a mentor if they're needing, uh, whatever barriers that we can kind of help smooth out so that they can get their progress for graduation. In the beginning of my freshman year, I became friends with a group of seniors and they mentioned being an iGrad and I was having some grades issues so I decided to go visit Mr. Sean and I told her I wanted to be involved and I got involved. <laughs> our students are some of our best sellers for the program. The iGrad program has um, increased the graduation rate in Bartholomew County. We started out uh, with in the 70s and 80 percent graduation rate and we are now above 90 percent graduation rate in Bartholomew County. We also have a, a program set up through Ivy Tech that is a lot like iGrad. So if they choose to come to Ivy Tech, we don't, you know, obviously we give them all options, but if they do come to Ivy Tech, there is a program kind of like iGrad that mentors those students through the Ivy Tech program as well. So that's kind of a transition for those students that do come to Ivy Tech. I am a, a, a retired elementary teacher and I have had and still have some of my last children I had as elementary and there are several that are in the program that I had in say fourth grade or perhaps second grade or fifth and I've just seen such a big change from when they were elementary to now more grown up um, you know taking more responsibilities for their life getting that work done the best part being an I grad is probably being able to know that there's somebody that's going to help me <laughs> through high school because high school is very intimidating I wanted to be able to try to go to IU or IUPUC uh, in junior or senior year since I'm only a sophomore I would like to try to get with the college programs and see what it would take to reach that goal and able to get to IU or IUPUC and reach my nursing goal I've had. Students now are so excited about it. Students are referring students. We talk about the benefits of it. You do not have to be part of it. It is a voluntary process, so students um, are not forced to be part of it. And because of the positive um, outcomes and the positive um, relationships that have been developed, students are actually asking and wanting to be a part of the program.